and a very warm welcome to the Total Energies BWF Thomas and Uber Cup Finals 2020, the World Championship for men's team and women's team. We are in beautiful Aarhus, the second largest city in Denmark, where the forest, the sea and the city meet in perfect harmony. Aarhus was designated European Capital of Culture in 2017 on the theme Let's Rethink. 31 teams from all corners of the globe are participating, 16 teams from Asia, 9 from Europe, 2 from Africa, 2 from Oceania and 2 teams from Pan America. And the schedule for this week, group play on to Thursday this week before we reach the sharp end of the tournament, playing quarterfinals, semi-finals and finals end of the week, ending on Sunday day 9. And the Thomas Cock groups, they were supposed to be played in four groups of four teams, but England withdrew last minute from the Thomas Cop. The top two teams in each group qualifies for the knockout stage and a new draw is made for the quarterfinals. And we are having a very, very busy program with three sessions a day, morning, afternoon and evening. We will turn our attention to the Thomas Cop Group B tie on court number one between Korea and France. Thomas Cup, the oldest team competition in badminton, a tournament dating back to 1949, used to be played every three years, but since 1984 has been a biannual event. And here we have the order of play for the tie between Korea and France, starting off with the first men's singles, Ho Kwang Hee against Toma Junior Popov. And that's the only change in the French team from the match they played against Denmark. Second men's singles is Kim Dong Hun up against Arnold Merkel. And in the men's doubles, the second men's doubles, we have Kang and Kim against Delroy and Villichier. Then coming up, the third men's singles is Jun Huk Jin against Alex Len Yip. And finally, the fifth match, the first men's doubles, is Choi Soo Gyo and So Seo Sung Jae against Popov and Popov. And here we have the first men's singles, Ho Kwang Hee against Toma Junior Popov. As I mentioned, the only change to the lineup from when France played against Denmark the other day. And here we have the players on to court. First one out is Ho Kwang Hee. Had such a fantastic run at the Olympics in Tokyo just a few months ago, where he, in the group, beat the hot, hot favorite from Japan, Kento Momota. And his opponent of today, the tall athlete from France, Thomas Junior Popov. He's presently number 34 on the world ranking. And uh, he was not selected to play singles in the tie against Denmark, where he only played doubles, but his brother Christo played the first singles. But Tomé Junior Popov is the highest ranked of all the French players in the men's singles. And here we have the toss of the coin. That side. And Ho uh, Kwang Hee won it and chose end. And it's very interesting that in all the matches, just like when France played Denmark, there are no previous head to head between these two teams, which means that all five matches are having no previous head to heads. And we 
have the traditional two minutes warm up where we have a chance to introduce the players to you. And the first profile up is Ho Kwang Hee. He is 26 years of age and uh, 180 centimeters tall. The, his best ever ranking is 32. He spent two weeks as a number 32 in the world ranking and the last time was in March 2020. He's a very... His, uh, his opponent here from France is a very, very tall athlete. He's 196, 23 years of age. Actually born in Sofia in Bulgaria. And then later on, his family moved to France and has represented France ever since. His best ever ranking is at 33 and uh, spent 19 weeks as number 33. Last time was on the 28th of September, just a few weeks ago. The umpire is Johannesen of Denmark. And here we've got the service judge, which is Rupert of Germany. And we are ready to commence this first men's singles. Very, very important match for France. If they want to keep their hopes alive in the group, they must win the tie today, tonight. So lots of pressure on Toma Junior Popov to get France off to a good start. Just one spot on the ranking between these two players. Ho Kwang Hee, number 33 on the world ranking. And his opponent, Toma Junior Popov, is number 34. It's a good start from uh, Popov, who became European Junior Champion in the men's singles in 2017 and uh, has won two Super 100 tournaments, the Salon Lux in Germany, the Orléans Masters in France and the Spain Masters, which is a Super 300 tournament just a few months ago. Yeah, got to try to anticipate chose the backhand side but that was cleverly seen by Ho Kwang Hee and One, just placed it down two. the forehand side. been a very very busy man last week he played four out of five matches for Korea in the Suleiman Cup in Finland and he 
he did so extremely well. He won the first three matches in the group and had a very, very important win against uh, Vidisan of Thailand in the quarter-final. Where he actually won 22-20 in the third and final game against a player very much in form, Vidisan from Thailand. to get good pressure from the tall man. Good straight smash. And I think he still needs to settle in on court a little bit. That's it, that's much better. That's how we've seen him play over the past two months, very aggressively. And look at that reverse smash there, just completely fooling Popov, having the racket on the forehand side and it's actually coming on the backhand side. It's a little bit of a difficult shot. Popov is trying here. Maybe he should just have blocked it straight, kept the rally going rather than trying to go for a winner. And a counter attacking shot. And that's just wide of the sideline. And all square, five all. I have often been thinking why Ho Kwang He is not higher on the world ranking. I think he's a very, very fine player, and I definitely think that he should be in the top 20. He has definitely been performing like a top 20 player lately. Too wide. Six, five. Oh, Kwang He is a very, very calm player on court. Uh, good pressure from Popov. Twice to the forehand side. Very steep, using his height. again that reverse a smash this time straight down the line and once again Popov is going to the wrong side and not guessing correctly and maybe that can be a pattern for the whole match we will only be able to say that perhaps in let's say half an hour's time uh, that's fantastic variation this time going for the Slice the other way. And very close to the sideline. Perfect placement. And it's definitely spelling problems for Popov. 
If he is not able to read the smashes better. a little bit too easy for the Korean player every time he's going on the attack he's wrong footing his opponent Hong Kong he won the World Junior Championship in 2013 and the first time I saw him play it was in 2015 at the Korean Open at the qualification when uh, Li Chang Wei was coming back from a, a ban and he actually beat Li Chang Wei in that qualification. That was a fantastic win for Ho Kwang Hee. And that's a good shot. And that's something that Popov needs to try to do, get on the attack as much as possible because it looks like as soon as he's lifting his defence is really under pressure. And the last three points gone the Frenchman's way. Closing the gap from 6-10 to 9-10. wide of the sideline and uh, Ho Kwang Hee goes into the uh, mid-game interval with the lead of 11-9 after 10 minutes play. Fine, sort of trying to add on, inject a little bit of pace here from Ho Kwang Hee. Unfortunately for him, that was going wide off the sideline in the first two points in favour of Chuma Junior Popov. Popov needs to raise the pace, inject some more pace into his game, and then see whether he can 
create some good attacking opportunities for his big smash. And he slipped a bit. Bang Yi, but he remained in balance. Very strong legs, no problem. Slipped uh, at the front of the court on the backhand side. And we've got the French team. Fortunate shot from Quang He. Apologising straight away, clipped the top of the tape and rolling over. That's a lovely disguise, attacking clear from Kwang He. Had so many options to play a downward shot, and so many players. I would say 99% of players would have opted to go for a slice, a smash, anything downwards. But look at that beautiful attacking clear, completely wrong footing pop off. That's fantastic variety and showing a very good understanding of the game. And here we saw Tomas Popov, the dad of Toma Junior Popov. He used to play for Bulgaria himself and later on became the Bulgarian national coach. around the head situation from he but good smash down the line that's what we saw here but we have a number of occasions seen that uh, the reverse slice is coming in in terms of slice shots smashes drop shots and so on so he's got great variety from that corner on the back line, setting up a six-point lead, 17-11. That's out. Well left from the Korean. It's tough for Tommy Junior Popov to find the gaps. Doesn't really know where to score his points, and I'm sure that's frustrating him quite a lot. Everything seems to be coming back, and that's when you start taking chances like that. Very decisive gap here, 19-11 up, and. Uh, Surely Popov in the picture needs to regroup at the interval between the two games. Uh, just wide. 
a look at the very quick and sharp action from Liu Kong Hee. And he was playing that cross court shot. Very sharp and crisp. Call in. Right in the corner. Couldn't have placed it better. Game point twelve. Missed a few of those. Well, he's got a whole host of game points, and I'm sure he will be perfectly okay. Save the first one, pop off. Let's see whether you can save the second one. And that seems long on the back line. Popong here takes the opening game, 21-13. Very, very much in control from the mid-game interval. It was 11-9 up, and then since then, only lost another two points. 18 minutes, 21-13. Twenty seconds is caught, and the coaches need to leave the court. Spinning that shot. Not too much of a pop off. Very nice finish. And I think the timing in this jump perhaps not that perfect. It looked like he was almost dropping, falling, coming down as and when he was hitting it. Got to time it to hit it at the very, very top. of uh, his doubles abilities with the flat push to the body and that was a good variety he needs to do that a little bit more and in order to do so he needs to be better following up a little bit hesitant coming from the back of the court that was wide
Paul along on the back line. Good start for Popov. Three love up. trying to close the net down, did well, but very well read from uh, Popov defending his body so well. Again, something from his doubles. Again on the scoreboard, uh, some pressure on his opponent. Okong he one five. Wonderful lift, really, really good lift on such a difficult shot. Try to have a look at how he's just tumbling over that spinning net shot, and here trying to leave it at the back. But changes his mind. Yeah. Then it's difficult. Well left. Well left from Popov. Good spacious awareness. Setting up a handsome lead here. 7 2 up. And if I was the coach behind the court of uh, Okwang He, I would definitely ask him to add on some pressure, more pace, be more aggressive. Because when he was doing that in the opening game, he was almost a scoring point at will. Yeah, good response here from Popov. And suddenly it's a completely different ball game. Interesting to see how Popov is sort of moving his stance up towards the front of the court. Center of the court moved up so he can attack quicker at the front of the court and it's working out really well for him. 
reading the smashes better now. And of course the objective for Holcomb here is to get as many points as he can until the mid-game interval, close the gap and see whether he can catch up a little bit later in this game. Closing down the net, and that's very, very important in the men's singles. Popov work very hard in this rally, closing the gap to four points, but very much in control. And having some good pressure and quality shots. to the mid-game interval, and then it's a knock in 12 minutes. Good lead for Tomajuna Popa. See whether he can extend it. Oh, that's good play from Helpon here. Either going flat down the line or go cross court here. Possibly his two options, and he's playing it to perfection. the sideline not happy with himself after having done so much work and then playing a fairly simple straight smash wide of the sideline 
Surely he can't be happy with that. Focus, Okon He. Too many errors coming from his racket. Not really giving himself chances and opportunities to control. Yeah, that's a beauty. Nicely played from uh, Popov. I like that little wrist action. It's coming here. Look at this. That's it. That's really nice. Great play. Setting up a fine point gap. And I would not be surprised if we are treated to a third and final game. Onside it. Onside it. And the lion judges onside it, so we're going upstairs and uh, see what the instant review system is saying. I'm quite sure it's out. It's... I'm sorry, I was wrong. It was called in, which means that it's uh, 16 9 for Popov. And when the umpire is asking the system to review it. Of course, none of the two players are using a challenge. <laughs> from Hokwag Hee. How, how did he get that one back? That was from a very, very low position. But look at that, throwing himself forward. And just a very nice touch cross court. Simple kill, waited very patiently. And that's a nice shot to the forehand of Ho Kwang Hee and then a simple follow-up. It's the longest rally so far in this match, 36 shots. approach from Popov in the second game. You making very good use of his double skills as well here we fine example of moving in early and the push onto the body just done so efficiently.
important when you choose to go cross court as what Popov did here you've got to follow your shots and he did not do that quickly enough look at this he's hanging in the corner and therefore he's not able to get to that shot where he's got to run diagonal cross court got to follow your shots that's very very important textbook This time it's Torma Junior Popov having eight game points. 20 game point 12. And let's see if we will have an identical score. 13 20. So five, the first one, Ho Kwang Hee. And symmetry in the line, in the, in the scores. One game all, 21-13, all depends on how you look at it and we treat it to the third and final game after 38 minutes of play third and final game Popov to serve after a very fine performance final game. in that second game but there is no doubt that I think Oh Kwang he has got more pace in his game but whether he is using it or not is another matter surely him and his coach must have been discussing that Because if he lets the tall man from France dictate, then that's what's happening. Really wonderful shot here from Popov. Then a good long lift. And Kwang He undecided. Yes, it's definitely in. And that was 
better from Kwang Hee. More proactive. Playing more aggressively from the front of the court. Be mocked, and uh, open he needs to change his racket. deflected from the, the net court but still stayed in look at this that's a perfect smash straight away apologizing for his good fortune but still and that's why out of the sideline Changes. Now the pace is up. Much, much better for both the players. And what a lovely block shot it was from Popov. This one here. Yeah. Popov, he really had to go deep in his legs to defend his body in case of the flat push on his body but of course this time we saw that uh, Popov was just blocking it and that was really cleverly played. Well, that's good placement, that's an awesome placement. Forehand side of the body, that's one of the most difficult places to get the shot back from. You can see Popov really not very happy with it. And I think that was an excellent shot from Bung Hee. now here we see the last smash it's nicely disguised worked really well for him in the in the opening game so understandably something that he would like to return to It's important and once again it's 
just got such a beautiful action on that reverse. Whether it's an overhead reverse or as what we saw here, the net at the front of the court. It's so natural to him. Good net, net exchange. If you see it from the Korean point of view. Clipping the top of the tape, closing the net down. Yeah, that's wonderful. Very, very good defensive work from Popov. Managed to get that quite far down the court. And just over the head of his opponent that was charging towards the front of the court. <laughs> Look at the smile. How on earth could that happen? And another fine example of the body smash to the forehand side. I would have played that one straight down the line and not going cross court because he was actually giving his opponent a chance to anticipate it and of course it was an open court had he got that one back. like that that's exactly what I meant it was just from the other side open up with a beautiful cross court smash follow up and instead of going cross on the last one he should have gone down the line it's too simple to cover the cross court most players would cover that cross court yeah, Ho Kwang Hee was having a hand on the floor earlier in the rally. in this rally, lots of fast exchanges now in the flat play. But look at that, the, the final one once again is that reverse. And Popov, of course, uh, slightly tricked getting his defense on the forehand side and it's coming down his backhand. Setting up a four point gap here, 10 6 up for Ho Kwang Hee. Mm 
make that five point gap. And if the first two games say anything to go by, both players like to be on the side of where Popov is now standing in the latter end of this third and final game. 14 minutes in 11 6. Fishing that reverse shot is once again Popov covering the forehand side. start as I do very very important that you get off out of the blocks as quickly as possible after the interval first two points here another two and I think this is over and out for for my junior pop off but he is of another opinion it was a very very important point for him he must try to close the gap now from Popov. Yeah, that's a wonderful constructive rally from Popov. I liked how he really attacked the front of the court, blocked it so early, and then of course setting himself up nicely for that reverse smash. And showing that he can do it as well. from Popov is one of the worst shots in men's singles. The cross from a low position into the backhand side of your opponent. And look what's happening. That spinning net shot and you have no chance to get it back. That's the shot that you cannot use in the game of men's singles of today. And Ho Kong He is running away with it now. Seven points. Eight. Popov really have to start finding the answers now. Yeah, good steepness in the sliced shot from forehand to forehand. It's quite amazing he's getting up and getting the next one. Or Popov have to finish it on this lovely slice on the forehand side.
Next two or three points. If you support France, needs to go the way of Popov. Otherwise, I think the gap is simply too big. Lovely play from Hopang. He lovely once again. We see the beautiful control, deep forehand corner, cross court. A tiny little slice, and then setting him up with his good smashing opportunity. 16-9 up. And just five points away from giving Korea a very good start to this time. Taking his time between the rallies here, Toma Junior Popov. Pop Got the first one back, but not the second. Good attacking pattern here from uh, Ho Kwang Hee. Not going cross court, not opening up. Spinning that shot. Oh, what a wonderful lift once again from Popov. Can he do it again? Because he needs to do it. Awesome net play here from Ho Kwang Hee. First time is just spinning and taking the top of the tape. Second time is just very, very tight. But the lift from Popov this time, the second time round, was a little bit too short. And Ho Kwang Hee capitalizing on that. 18-10 up. And if you're a fan of France, it doesn't look too good now. Good angle, good steepness. Sometimes I wonder why Ho Kwang Hee is not just going for a flat drive down the line in that situation. He's got that beautiful cross rather than lifting it to the big man here in the picture. Toma Junior Popov. Got a very good smash, good steepness. Given the opportunity, he will use it. 
Yeah, perfect. In the corner. Setting up seven match point, 20 match point, 13. So, Ho Kwang Hee of Korea. using his double skills should perhaps try that a bit more in the third game it's been working pretty well for him so far trading six points is a big ask and Ho Kwang he takes this final game 21-14. Now in the match lasting way over one hour. 21-13, 13, 21-21-14. To Hong Kong, he of Korea bringing Korea in front in this Thomas Cup tie in Group B against France. One nil up. That's really very, very good. And look at the celebration. It's a happy man. And as the players are leaving the court, we are going to prepare for the second match of tonight, which is the second men's singles, Kim Dong-hun of Korea against Arno Merkel of France. Lovely pictures here from the skyline of uh, just outside the stadium. On your left, you have the football pitch. And right up in your top corner is the race course. And we are in the Sirius Park in Aarhus, 